So the um, the remake, mm -hmm. which we just watched. Yeah. And I have to admit, I was fully prepared to not like. Me too. And I kind of liked it. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I think actually, I this was one of this was the, my favorite of all of the um, live action Disney movies that I've seen. I've I've seen practically all of them because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> I like seeing what they recreated, not just you know with real people with mm -hmm. live action wise, but um, also how times have changed, how it's interpreted, like reinterpreted mm -hmm. according to the times that we live in. Mm -hmm. You know. I like seeing that. And this one really surprised me in a really good way. Mm -hmm. We should address the... Um, Elephant in the room. Yeah, well, the talk. The the talk in, in, in the YouTube world, um, right. which is the fact that they cast her as a, you know, it, it's a black actress playing a... Hans Christian Andersen role, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a white world that he created. So there's a lot of this. he was Danish back in, like, what sure. year was it? Yeah. <laughs> and so there's also, you know, people upset about the new Lord of the Rings because there's black elves and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I have a problem with this when it's done to... almost against the fans, like mm -hmm. to spite the fans. Mm -hmm. And as a way of hammering a message rather than a story. Okay. Like, I, movies should be political, TV should be political. But this kind of obsession with identity, cultural politics, mm -hmm. is, a, is a bit too much. Mm -hmm. So that's why when, when this movie, I heard about this movie and they cast her as a black actress, I'm like, okay, I kind of get what's going on. I think what's going on, and this is very conspiratorial, but I think that they're actually doing this on purpose oh. to spark a reaction for okay. people yeah, against yeah. it. Yeah. And, you know, there's this idea that scandal makes news, and it doesn't matter if it's scandalous or it's negative. As long as it makes news, it brings attention to the work and then, you know, the product, mm -hmm. and then people will pay attention to it and then. It'll yeah, yeah, money. no, no, no. I, so I, I, yeah. I know it's a very yeah. conspiratorial way of thinking about it. Mm -hmm. That said, there was absolutely nothing in this movie that we just watched mm -hmm. that bothered me that she was black. Um, I have so There's many other things that yeah, bothered yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. that. I have so many things to say about okay. this. Um, one was, she's a siren. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> well, I, this it, she's not a human to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. um, right. So that is one. That's an important thing. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Right. What her and it's a fantasy. Is. Yeah, it's it's a total fantasy. This world is a complete fantasy mm -hmm. where, you know, there are nods to historical facts, like mm -hmm. you know, British colonism, whatever. It looks like what could have been Barbados, but you know. If there were, if there never was slavery, you know, mm -hmm. um, the Mer people obviously are multi-ethnic because they're not people, you know, they don't reflect like fish in the sea. They, yeah. Except it was kind of weird when we <coughs> see Javier Bardem's character. <laughs> First of all, Javier Bardem, you made your paycheck. <laughs> yeah. He's it like showing up. Wildly uncomfortable. He, he was yeah. wildly uninterested in this film. And he showed, showed up, yeah. he got his paycheck, and he went home. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was even like, you know, in the last scenes when we see him in the water, we were both yeah. laughing. Because he's just kind of standing there in the water. <laughs> I mean, chances are he was directed that way. But yeah, it was really he looked, awkward. He looked, he looked wildly awkward. uncomfortable, Javier Bardem. Yeah. But, but they, you know, they wrote the character, and I'm not sure how much of this is to the original, but he's a Zeus-like character, right? A Apollo-like character. Wait, no, Poseidon-like character. Poseidon. Yeah, Poseidon, yeah. But he's more like a Zeus-like character, a even though yeah. he is, mm -hmm. I guess, based on yeah. Poseidon, mm -hmm. because, <laughs> you know, he's got the trident, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that's Poseidon, but he, that he's in command of his world. I see what okay, you're Okay, so yeah, that's yeah. Poseidon, too. But what I mean by the Zeus-like mm -hmm. quality is that... <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I see what you're Is that in this movie that we just watched, You've got your black daughter, mm -hmm. your Asian daughter, your, I don't know, Indonesian, your, your Indian daughter. Mm -hmm. You've got your white 
daughter. And it was like, man, like Zeus, this guy gets around. But it's implied that there was only one mother who had died. Okay, then that's then that's silly. Yeah, I don't think See, that's this silly is... because they're not people. They are not people. They don't have genitals. They don't like. Who, well, who if, knows if we really want to dig conceive. into that, but yeah. but but I mean, my problem with sort of planting different ethnicities yeah. into movies I see what you're saying. is it's a, it feels to me like a white fantasy of equality i know it's exactly totally what you're saying. forgets yeah. culture i i totally get what you're saying so yeah. this is a problem that's why there you know if there's a problem when we continue and i don't mind like one or two movies like this but there is like uh these worlds where these all these ethnicities exist mm -hmm. in like a very white environment yeah. ignores the the actual history and kind of pretends that oh you know what problems what problems but I think this is Hollywood's way of dealing with I know what you're saying guilt yeah. is let's just yeah. let's just plant yeah. people of color mm -hmm. into these anachronistic situations mm -hmm. and We'll and be, then and we're it, doing good yeah, and then call it equality yeah. and then also like we we did hire these people of color see 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 right. you know um but that being said um all that to say Halle Bailey I think I'm like a new Halle Bailey super fan she's fantastic she was she was absolutely perfect for she's this perfect. role she completely captured the innocence, mm -hmm. but also sort of like defiance mm -hmm. and the headstrong nature of Ariel, but also like she kind of communicated that, oh, you know, she is fundamentally a siren. Mm -hmm. So she's not going to react like, you know, a normal teenage human girl. Mm -hmm. There was a mystical kind of ness about her. Um, there was an energy that was just sort of like beyond that was sort mm -hmm. of superhuman yeah. right like her voice and mm -hmm. the way she carried herself throughout the movie mm -hmm. i thought it was absolute perfection yeah. i cried during her interview. you did <laughs> you I, I caught you crying right at yes. the time when i turned to you and i said i'm not hating yeah, this yeah. movie <laughs> um her, when i when i heard part of that world um when i heard her sing that i was just like it was great. The, this kind of feels like when I first saw the mm. movie back when I was, you know, six years old. Mm. I wondered if she was singing live because I was, yeah. I, I sort of, I could, either that or she really did a great ADR re-singing of it. But she sounded... They do re-sing it, but then they sing while they're shooting the scene. Mm -hmm. Most people re-sing, you know, actually sing. The, yeah. yeah, I know, but yeah. sometimes they do do it live, like in uh, Les Miserables. Yeah, that okay, was I see live. what you're I, I was just wondering if that was a live pick, uh, but probably not. Yeah, so when they, you know, when there was a casting controversy about, you know, her being black and mm -hmm. her not ha being with a, a redhead like Ariel in the animation, um, I, I didn't really see what the problem was because for me the most important thing that Ariel ha had to have was that she needed to be a singer she's a siren her voice was like it's a plot device it's a really really important plot her device. voice is an important part of the yeah. story and um I didn't want them to do this like auto-tune thing that they did with the other Disney princesses I think Emma Watson who's not a singer played Be Belle in Beauty and the Beast and she had to sing a lot and they just kind of auto tuned it like yeah they just sort of like mm, okay let's just like gloss over these high notes and she was good for an actress mm -hmm. but she wasn't a professional singer mm -hmm. Halle Bailey is a professional singer uh, that's how she started I mean like Beyonce discovered her mm. and uh wow did she bring it and yeah. she brought a new energy to the song mm -hmm. that we have heard you know i've heard so many different versions of it and she really captured the longing in the song part of that world mm -hmm. um, there was such longing in that song mm -hmm. of something that you know you're not even sure what you're and that's when you're a teenager you have that right mm -hmm. There is longing and there's angst, but you're not really sure what that is. Mm -hmm. And she really captured that. Yeah. So I loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought the guy was good too. Yeah. I don't it, know. Who I thought he the was. casting was yeah. good. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know who he was either. Um, mm -hmm. But I thought he was good. Mm -hmm. Good voice. Mm -hmm. He he got a new song. Yes. Um, I... Which sounded like.
kind of like Coldplay with Disney key modulations? That, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and I liked the new arrangements of Under the Sea Here's and Kiss the Girl. Another reason why the movie worked, yeah. it was the original songs. Mm -hmm. uh, we should say that. Yeah. Um, and most of them, yeah. Yeah, most of them. So there were some new ones. Um, but yeah, um, I just thought it was a gorgeous looking movie too. I kept gorgeous. waiting for it to ruin itself and it kind of fell apart at the end. There was some, they kind of really hammed up the ending like it was just a bit too much. Yeah, so um, I, but, yeah. but the first hour was just, right. it was gorgeous to look. It's a gorgeous film to look at. It's beautiful. It makes you want to live underwater. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if a lot of the designers and the animators like did some diving trips or something. Like they really got this beautiful underworld mm -hmm. setting that was stunning. And her body movements, all of the body movements That's were very natural. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. Um, I don't know how they did that, if they were suspended, but it, it all They was, were suspended. They were. It was all very natural um, and just a beautiful world they, they created. So I was impressed. The sound design was great. I was just right. ready to hate this movie and I didn't. I really enjoyed it, except for the ending. And some things like they didn't really explain how a black woman is his mother. Well, he kind of like tried to explain that he was adopted and then somebody cut him off. Like he wasn't born into, okay. you know whatever um but again this all seems so again forced. i know weird. it's but you know what i think i've gotten used to it because i've been watching like richard yeah I, I know. Uh, <laughs> and i think i'm like totally okay with it now if anything it's kind of soothing to pretend that race doesn't it's fantasy exist. but but it's the fa fantasy yeah. but every this is the thing for me every fantasy world has its own logic mm. and it has to maintain its own logic yeah and if if the logic doesn't make sense within itself, right. even in a fantasy, mm -hmm. then I start going, oh, you just did casting decisions in a boardroom. Right. Um, so th this movie had some moments of that, but not in terms of the lead. Mm. Um, and just something else in terms of like people who are getting upset that it's, um, you know, that, that it's not true to Hans Christian Andersen. It's important to keep in mind that myths are always changing. Something that you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. that myths have to uh, be relevant to the time in which they're being told. Mm -hmm. The Little Mermaid is not a pure rendering mm -hmm. of Hans Christian Andersen's story. Neither is this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's doing it at a more modern time. Right. What it didn't do, and which I hate, mm -hmm. which I think Lord of the Rings, the, the recent Lord of the Rings did, was to try to bash your, you over the head with it. Right, right, right. Um, and I didn't get that impression at all. Yeah, there was yeah. none of that, mm -hmm. I guess we can say the word woke, there was none of that element to this movie. It just felt very, um, it was very true to the Disney version. Um, there was nothing that seemed especially um, agenda setting to it. Yeah, I didn't. It just yeah. was a good movie. Yeah, it was a great movie. Yeah. Um, I feel like Melissa McCarthy didn't really work for me, even though I usually like her. Mm -hmm. Because maybe it's because I've seen so many actual drag queens portray this. Oh, right, because she's based on a drag queen. Yeah, um, beautifully. I, I feel like they could have casted a drag queen. I don't know. like, mm. But then maybe that would have been like, ooh, scaring the children. That would have been maybe too much. Mm -hmm. um, but she looked like she was acting i don't know it was like she looked very she was okay. uncomfortable yeah she was better than javier bardem yeah. but, but ursula is such a, but i but also ursula read in, really in the original little mermaid was yes dark. yes i didn't think that she was in any way intimidating or scary melissa mccarthy is so cute yes her face is just like mm -hmm. like i thought her voice so was good though cute yeah her voice is good um, I guess I'm being a little too critical. She just wasn't, she was just too Not cute. menacing enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, definitely not drag enough. I loved um, Aquafina Scuttle. I think Aquafina is just a steady, yeah. is a stellar talent yeah. in everything that she does. Like, you know, she's just kind of brings it. She was funny. Yeah. I laughed several mm -hmm. times. For sure. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs>